Hey Pink Dome viewers, welcome back to another episode of PDTV. Before we step into the fray of news updates, we want to send our condolences to the victims of the Odessa shooting as well as those in El Paso. The senseless acts of gun violence and mass shootings are rocking the state and forcing legislative action or at least conversation. The governor created committees and a task force to handle the tension, but others called for a special session. No information as to that happening yet, but we will let you know as we are covering it more in the next couple of days. Now let's catch up on what you may have missed last week, fertility fraud. Eve Wiley's tragic story has reached tons of viewers. Her mother, treated at the office of Kim McMorris in Nacogdoches for IVF, recently found out that McMorris used his own sperm in her procedure without her knowledge. Ew, super gross. This realization led Eve to organize in legislators' offices. Due to her efforts and the efforts of advocates, SB 1259 was passed into law, making McMorris intrusive act a felony. This makes Texas a leader in the legislative movement against unauthorized daddy doctors and this fertility injustice. Speaking of new laws going into effect, the Samuel Allen Law went into effect September 1st. This law came from an advocate, Jennifer Allen, who is the mother of a young man living with Asperger's syndrome. Jennifer founded the website Asperger's 101 and used her platform to alter the law in order to accommodate the needs of her son and others who can be challenged with communication. Those who fit into the category can now take a doctor's note to the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles. With that note, a code will be placed on their license plate. This code will let the police officer know to prepare for a different kind of encounter when engaging with the citizen and provides relief for those driving who have different needs. Plumbers do not have to get a diploma or a GED to get a journeyman's plumber's license anymore. The Texas Sunset Advisory Commission decided to drop that requirement, although some raise concerns that students will drop out of school to complete their 8,000 hours of experience in order to get their license. Other concerns are the maturity needed to handle the stress of this type of job, but that's something the board will have to handle. Student suspensions are a focus right now as studies have come out showing statistical data that certain students are more likely to be suspended both out of and in school. What is especially concerning is the quantity of the youngest students who are punished and placed outside of the classroom. The studies have found that students with the most needs are often the ones the system sets aside. School districts are going to have to handle the heavy reality, and some have tried to limit the suspensions, but the real results may come in the understanding of the whole student and supporting them more emotionally and strategically to teach coping, while also supporting educators with systems that make sense. Oh, in other news, you can arm yourself with brass knuckles again for self-defense. I know, we've all been worried. Pink Dome TV will be added again soon with more updates. If you're interested in some political insight, check out the articles at reformaustin.org about the vulnerable incumbents, 10 Dems and 10 Republicans. Don't forget to use the hashtag under the pink dome to join in the conversation.